All right, I'm showing you a pong game, right? And I've got a, a ball and a paddle. And right now I can make it so the ball can go down kind of randomly when the, when the game starts, when you click the start button. But I want to make it so the ball will bounce off edges, okay? And it's actually, there's a very easy block you can use to do that. The ball's got a bounce block. And I'll just drag one of these guys out. And the bounce, you just have to tilt an edge. And kind of when you want to do that is when it hits an edge. And the ball also has an event. And it's got a couple of nice animation events. Um, but one is the edge reached. Okay, so on the edge reached, you know, so once this ball hits any edge, we just want it to bounce off. Okay, and you know, at some point we might want to do something else when they hit the bottom edge. Okay, and we'll deal with that. But right now we're just going to make him bounce no matter what edge he hits. So I'm going to go grab the edge parameter because when you, when you call bounce, you need to say which edge of the canvas that you hit. Um, and in this case, the edge reach tells us which one, which one we hit. Okay, so now I think this ball should start bouncing. I'm going to click start. My phone's projecting onto the screen, so it's a little choppy, but it's smooth on, on my phone when I run this. But I'm going to click start, and we should see that ball bounce off the edges of the canvas um, wherever it goes. So it, right now it's just hitting the top of the bottom and going, going back and forth. Okay, so that's how you just do a, a simple bounce. And let me, um, let's see. Let's just go back to the designer and change something. We'll we'll get it so the um, I'll just keep this change this initial thing to twenty five. This is just just so that app will restart basically. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to make it so if the ball hits the paddle, it will bounce back. So that's not an edge, right? So what I'm going to do is go back to ball and you know it's got this nice collided with event. Okay, so if you have image sprites or balls, you can you know, these events will tell you when, when it runs into some other image sprite or other ball, okay? In this case, you know, there's only one other object it hit, so we don't have to worry about it. We could check other to see if it's the one that we care about, but in this case, there's only one other object, the paddle. And when he hits that, we want him to, to bounce. And, and the way it's going to work is, um, we, you know, we really want him to go, you know, 360 minus whatever his heading is. So if the if the ball is going down, so 270, right, and he hits this edge, or sorry, hits the paddle, we want it to go straight backwards up, which would be um, 360 minus 270, or 90, 90 degrees. Okay, so the ball dot collide with event is just going to change the heading of the ball. Okay, so as soon as the ball collides with that guy, we want to change his heading. And of course, you know, the range is 360, so we want to go 360, um, and we don't want random at all. We're just going to, we want to bounce back the same every time. So 360 minus whatever the heading was. Okay, so I'm going to go grab the reference to ball.heading. So if the, if the ball's heading was um, 270, then we're going to change his heading to, to 90. Okay, 360 minus 270. So let's let's go ahead and test test this guy. I'm going to touch the start button. That should get him moving and bouncing. Let's see if we can get it to touch the paddle. There we go. And notice how it bounced off the paddle just like we we wanted to. Okay, so bounce. You know this block kind of does this for us, and it does it when we hit an edge. But we can kind of explicitly do our do it ourselves if we want. When a ball hits, or when any object hits another one, we can just change its heading to 360 minus whatever it was, and that'll kind of make it make it bounce. So we're getting pretty close to having a a nice pawn game, and 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 I'll tell you the rest in the next video.